Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samaya, if you're new here, welcome. I am a small business owner of many multi-needle embroidery machines. And in today's video, I'm gonna be just embroidering a cap, not really like showing you guys like exactly how, but um, I'm gonna be embroidering a cap in this video. It's this one. It is 3D puff embroidery. So here it is. And I added a little bit of bedazzle. So um, that's optional for today's video, but you really don't have to do that, but I'm just a little extra. So let's talk about 3D puff embroidery. What is 3D puff embroidery? So 3D puff embroidery is kind of when there is like a 3D effect to the stitches. So instead of being embroidered and like you can barely see it popping out, this one's actually really popping out as you can see in this cap, you can actually see it popping out. So this is, um, you do need like a specific digital file for this. You can't use any file. It has to be specific for 3D puff. I bought mines off Etsy. You can make them via Hatch or in Brilliance or whatever software you use, but I just bought mines for today's video um, off Etsy. So what I did was I bought this font. It was like $13. I'll link the guy down below. So I ended up buying that font and I downloaded it and I uploaded the PES file onto Hatch. So typically that doesn't really work. Um, you have to have an EMB file to edit the file, but I was like, let's try it. So I did, and it did work. So I uploaded it and I took each letter one by one, which is worthy, W-O-R-T-H-Y. And I kind of played with it. So I put it like how I wanted it. I put the uppercase with the lowercase and I smudged them together until I made the word worthy. So that way, when I plug it into my embroidery machine, I just have my file instead of going into my embroidery machine and putting one letter one by one. So that was pretty neat. Um, it was my first time doing something like that. So I really like doing that. And for today's video, you will need a few extra things than what you would use for normal embroidery. You will need a 3D puff foam. So you can buy this foam, I believe, like, um, I got mine off Amazon, but I think you can get it from Joanne or anywhere. Um, I'll link it down below. It's like a whole roll. I forgot the exact details, but I will link it down below. I got it off Amazon and I used it for, t I used it for, um, today's video. You would also need, obviously, an embroidery machine. You will need stabilizer. Um, you'll obviously need thread. You don't need the rhinestones. That's just extra. And you will need a cap. Um, you can get these anywhere, honestly. Um, I got mines from SNS Active. So this is the hat hoop that you would be using. Um, I have mines. This is from um, Baby Lock. I'm not sure if this exact one would work with Melco or any of those other machines. But yes, so for this, you would have to buy this separately. Mines luckily came with one of my machines, but I do know if you want to buy this, it'll be, it'll be a little pricey. Um, I think they go around a thousand dollars but um yes you will need a hat hoop if this comes with the thing that helps you put it on and it comes with the thingy majig whatever it's called that you change it so yeah you'll need that there are videos that you can watch online on how to do it if you don't know how um i can t i can make a separate video of showing you guys how to hoop it it is definitely a little different than hooping a sweatshirt or a blanket or whatnot so um it does take a little bit of time and honestly even with me i do because i don't make caps often it does take me a little bit longer to um hoop a hat you will need a little bit of rhinestones if you want to blink your cap you don't have to and i used fabric glue and i'll link that down below so without further ado all right, so I got my hat and I'm gonna go ahead and hoop it. Okay, I got that in. So now I'm just gonna put my cap right over here. So we wanna center this as much as we can. We're gonna bring this clasp over. All right, I got that clasp in and now I wanna bring this forward. So I can grab the cap. All 
We got it hooped. Alrighty, so I got it onto my machine and it is a 3D puff. So I am going to grab some of that foam and tape it on right over here. In an ideal world, I would have tape, but I don't. So I have the 3D puff um, foam. I'm going to add it on there. I do not have tape for some reason. I can't find it, but um, I'll just hold it down with my fingers like that. As for my embroidery machine, so as you can tell, um, uh, since I changed the bracket, it changed it to the hat hoops, so that's already done, and it automatically rotated it for me, so I don't have to do any of that, and it takes 13 minutes to stitch out, and the highest it can stitch is 16, 16, oh my gosh, 600 stitches per minute, so if you can, like if I press on it, it won't let me go higher than that, so that's the highest, um, it'll go for hat embroidery. I am going to grab this, um, so I would typically would like to tape the edges right here so it's like taped down and it's good to go, but I'm going to hold it, so I'm going to click lock and go. Alrighty, you guys, it is done, so I'm going to take it out. There's like these little clasps right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see right there. And then if you just on both sides push it, there we go. All right, so we're going to take off the 3D puff. All right, let's take off our hoop. I'm gonna grab my weeding tool. I'm gonna use that to help take these little pieces out. Use my little scissors here and cut off any extra threads that we might have. If you guys hear my daughter upstairs stomping, I am so sorry. She comes home from school at 3, 11.30, and I try to do these videos before she comes home, but today I couldn't. So, here is the stabilizer on the inside. I'm going to take that off. And this is just regular tearaway. Here is the tab. It says worthy. I feel like we could use some of this for a smaller project. So if one day we want to embroider a 3D star here or there, we could use this. So I'm going to tear it off and keep this in my scraps drawer. If you're a scraps person like I am, you could definitely reuse this for like a smaller piece, like a star or anything small that you might want to use for that. So here is the final look. Now you could stop here and um, have it like that. Or you could be extra like me and add some rhinestones. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and add some rhinestones. I got them from Amazon, so I'll link those down below. So why not like bedazzle this and make it even prettier? Can you guys see that 3D look? How it's popping out? So pretty. All right, so I'm gonna add the rhinestones to the cap. So I got my fabric glue. It's called Fabric Fusion by Aline. Aline's premium quality. So I'm gonna use this to 
for the glue to put down for the rhinestones. And the rhinestones that I'm using today are kind of like a mix and match of a whole bunch of these. I got all of these on Amazon. I'll link everything down below. I kind of want like a brown, white, and pink vibe to go with this, this um, hat. So that's what I'm going to use. And let's get started. I kind of want to use different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to put a few of these in my little cap here. I don't, I don't want them all to be the same size. I think it gives it a better look that way. So turn that down a little bit. So I decided not to use the brown ones, but I'm going to add like a few more right here and I'll be done. Here's a final product, you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below.